To write the name for CuCl2, we have to recognize we have a metal, the copper, and nonmetal. This is a chlorine. So metal and a nonmetal, this is an ionic compound. And specifically, copper is a transition metal. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for CuCl2. First, we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Cu, that's copper. Then we write the name for the nonmetal, chlorine. And we replace the ending with IDE. So the name right now for CuCl2 is copper chloride. But remember, we said copper. That's a transition metal. So it can have a different ionic charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to two chlorine atoms. Chlorine on the periodic table, group 17, sometimes called 7A, has a 1 minus ionic charge. That's for each of these chlorine atoms. So 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The copper, that's going to have to be 2 plus to balance the charge, give us a net charge of 0. So since we have the 2 plus here, we need to write that in the name as a Roman numeral 2 with parentheses around it. And that makes the name for CuCl2 copper 2 chloride. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd know that the copper here would have a charge of 2 plus because of the 2. And since chlorine's always 1 minus, you'd know that you need two chlorines for the one copper atom. This is Dr. B with the name for CuCl2. Thanks for watching.